In this video, I'm going to tell you about activity types in Flight Schedule Pro. To get started, go to Settings. Click on Scheduling and go to Activity Types. Here you'll see a list of your activity types. Activity types provide a way for you to categorize reservations and define scheduling and dispatching rules on Flight Schedule Pro. If you want to add a new activity type, just click the Add New button at the top right of this list. For this example, let's edit the Solo Rental type. In Step 1, we'll define the basic options for this activity type. Here, you can change the name of the activity type if you like. If you'd like to remove this type so it can no longer be scheduled, just deactivate it here and we'll remove it from the list of options. You can also define different colors for this type based on the status. For example, you may want to gray out reservations of this type once they are checked in or completed. Just click a color to open the color picker. If you want to use this exact same color on another activity type, just copy this color code and insert it into another activity type's color picker. Once you've selected the color you want, click Choose. We show you a preview so you can see what reservations of this type will look like on the schedule. For roles allowed, select any roles you want to allow to schedule this type. For this example, let's also give instructors and renters access to reserve this type. If you want to set a required minimum or maximum length for reservations of this type, just enter the number of minutes in these boxes or leave them blank for no restriction. Click the Next button to continue to Step 2. In Step 2, we'll configure the fields we want to display when the users are booking this type. Simply turn on any field you want to be visible and whether or not they should be required or optional. As you can see, the Customer 1 field is already turned on for this type and is optional. The aircraft field is also turned on. To require users to select an aircraft when scheduling this type, select Required to Schedule and Dispatch. And, as another example, to require users to enter estimated flight time when scheduling this type, let's turn on the Estimated Flight Time field and mark it as Required to Schedule and Dispatch. Click Next. Let's proceed to the third and final step of setting up an activity type. On this step, we'll configure scheduling and dispatching requirements for this activity type. With Flight Schedule Pro, you have complete control to define what checks the system will run when reservations are being booked and when flights are being dispatched. Let's set up a couple checks for the customer. From the Customer tab, click Add Requirements. For this example, let's add a pilot certificate requirement to this activity type. Once you've made your selections, click Done at the bottom to add the requirements. You have a few options for each requirement you add. You can require this item for both scheduling and dispatching, or you can make this item required for dispatching and only a warning upon failure during scheduling. As a third option, you can require this item for dispatch only and completely ignore it during scheduling. For this example, let's provide users with a warning if the customer's pilot certificate is missing or invalid during scheduling and require a valid pilot certificate when the flight is dispatched. Let's also say we're going to require a valid private pilot certificate or higher in order to pass this check. Check the Flight Review box only if you're using Flight Schedule Pro's new Flight Review Endorsement. If you want to ignore this customer requirement, if an instructor has been selected for this reservation, check this box. This allows you to have a single activity type that supports both dual and solo flights should you wish to. 
Since we're allowing an instructor to be selected on reservations of this type, let's also add a requirement for the instructor in case one is selected. So let's quickly review this activity type before we save it. Here we set up the basic options for this activity type. Then we selected the fields that will be visible when this activity type is booked. And finally we defined a pilot certificate requirement for the selected customer and instructor on reservations of this type. To save your changes to this activity type, click the Save button. That's it. Now you know how to set up activity types in Flight Schedule Pro.